Hey guys, so uh, this this video we're going to be going over a program called Hydra and how to brute force SSH terminals um, or servers running SSH. So this one's a really simple one. Um, it's not going to take too long, but it might take a while if you're if you're doing this um, on a, on a real environment um, for pen testing, of course. So what I'm going to show you is I've got a, uh, a little server running um, which is a uh, just a just a standard web server it's actually um, a metasploitable to web server but we won't go into that too much at the moment um, I've changed the password on that server to something that's quite simple um, which I know is in the password list that we're using today so the password list that we're using today let me just make this bigger um, so we're using the Rocky password list which is built into Kali and you can use your own password list if you like. Um, so the, uh, the script runs pretty easy. So we've got Hydra, we're calling Hydra and then we're specifying a, um, a single user um, with that L and then that user is root. Um, the capital P is a uh, is to signify a list. So um, we're using a password list, and I've just put the directory for the password list there. Um, and then the IP address of the server, how many connections we want, which is specified with a T. Um, so I've just got five on here at the moment, um, and we want to attack uh, SSH, which is port 22. So um, once we run this, what will happen is uh, Hydra will then connect to 10.0.2.4. Um, and then it will try um, all the passwords that are in that password list uh, from top to bottom and it will uh, try the username root. Now if you really wanted to you could also get a, uh, a, um, a username pass, uh, username list as well. So then what will happen is, and, and this will take a, long, a lot longer, um, it will try username, common username, and then run through the password list, and then go down to the next username, run through the password list, and it will just do that until, uh, until it's out of, um, out of things to run through. Um, in the real world, you'd probably want to make sure that you're using a very strong password, because obviously if your password is going to be visible, um, if it's a uh, publicly listed in a password list, then the chances are you're going to um, be attacked sooner or later if you don't have brute force protection. So um, uh, what I'll do just before we start this, I'll just give you a look at what the uh, what the password list looks like. Um, so the password list is located in um, user share word list rocku.txt. So I'll just uh, cat that. Um, actually, I should have just done head because uh, that would have just um, given us the top part. But this is basically all the passwords that are in that list. And this will run for probably a few more seconds there. There we go. So that's the end of it there. Um, so all of these are just passwords that are uh, stored in that Rocky password list and Rocky is not actually that big either um, you can get some uh, some data off um, like dark web and um, all sorts of places with very extensive lists of um, uh, of passwords that are that have been taken from uh, real data breaches so um, without further ado uh, let me just get this started it runs pretty quickly and there we go so um, it's uh, tested the uh, the SSH login with root, and then it's gone and tested a password RockU, which is actually like the fifth or sixth password um, in the uh, password list, and uh, um, and that's managed to crack it, and it's told me that that that's what the username and password is for SSH. So then I could go to that SSH server, connect to it myself with those credentials, and I should be able to log in. So that's uh, pretty much all for today. Um, again, uh, leave a comment down below if you want to see me do other videos um, and uh, like, subscribe. And hopefully this one actually has better audio. Um, I noticed that the last few videos I've seen the comments, um, the audio has been off balance and I have absolutely no idea why, but I made some adjustments to OBS and hopefully that fixes it. So um, we'll see how that goes. I'll see you next time.